first of all let me thank you all for coming in the zoom meeting at the second Bengkulu international conference on health let me introduce myself my name is nurse firna Lisa, arizona me and my team uh, come from nursing department medical faculty universitas Sriwijaya. at this time i would like to present our research with the title Improving Family Support on Obesity Children Through Focus Group Discussion. The background of this research was about the number of overweight and obese on school age children continually increases from year to year. Childhood is a moment of growth and development for children. If the childhood obesity is not to be overcome, it will increase the risk factor and various metabolic disease. And as we know that the family support was needed, especially to prevent and resolve obesity on school age children. The study aimed to know the effect of focus crop discussion for increasing family support to prevent and resolve the obesity problem on children. And next, we talk about the method of this research. This research was used pre experiment with one group pre post test design. The location of this research in Tulu Elementary School in Ilibarat Satu, Subdistrict Palembang, with the number of sample was 20 parents, and the 20 parents divided into two groups. So, one group consists of 10 respondents. The intervention was conducted once with focus group discussion about 40 minutes and the data collected by using questionnaire which filled by respondent before and after conducting the intervention. The questionnaire about the family support consists of 10 statements with Goodman scale and the questionnaire is consists about how the family provide the information provide the nutritional and also facilitate it about physical activity and also how they give the positive reinforcement for the children and as for the result of this study in the table one we can see the family support before intervention the majority of family support is in 70 percent in the bad category and after the intervention family support in the 90 percent in the majority in uh, that is good category and in the table three we can know about the effect of focus crop discussion in increasing family support Based on the table, we can uh, based on the table and also uh, using the variate analysis, the p-value number is about zero point zero three four. Based on the result of the questionnaire before the discussion was conducted in groups, it was found that only a few parents had a child wake measurement regularly. The so mother also do not arrange the kind of food that will be given every day to their family, especially for children. And in the discussion process of uh, on FGD, mother give an explanation about their experience in family feeding behavior and share their opinion about preventing obesity on school age children. They have reminded the children not to snake carelessly but the focus of parents about this advice was not on the impact of obesity but worried about children getting diarrhea or another infectious disease due to unhealthy food the situation similar with the study which is also used focus group discussion that was the discussion process that conducted while facilitated by moderator make respondent got new information and understanding what they known before not true on the other hand after intervention it was found in the result of questionnaire that the majority of parents had a good support category to 90 percent 
the majority of parents understand that obesity can have a devastating impact in the long time and they will make a plan to feed children with balanced nutrition every day. Similar with another study that result was intervention parents show greater improvement over time in score of self-efficacy for identifying identifying appropriate portion size with significant differences in adjust means at both post-intervention with not p-value 0.002 and follow-up p-value 0.01. Intervention children were less likely to consume at least one sugar sweetened beverage daily at post-intervention then control children with p-value 0.04. So the conclusion in this research that based on the research, there was an increasing value of family support on preventing children obesity after conducting focus group discussion. That focus group discussion might become a method to improve family support to their children for preventing obesity. Thank you so much for your attendance and your thank yeah thank you very much for the presentation so dr demsa please the questions okay thank you miss vita uh, congratulations miss rizona yes krishna lisa or rizona Lisa, Arizona, yeah, okay. Uh, it's a good uh, presentation. Uh, I want to two question about the your paper. Uh, the first, I want to know. Uh, we know that FDG is one method to data collecting in uh, qualitative research. Okay, I I want to know. Uh, it the same with FGD in the qualitative research. Uh, in this study, what is mean the FGD is the same the with qualitative research. So, uh, I want to know why you use FGD to collecting data. Are you believe that FGD in increasing the family support? How to the mechanism uh, that FGD can improve uh, family support? Okay, please. Hey, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Demsa, for the question. Uh, I'll try to answer your question. Uh, yes, uh, as you know, that FGD is one of the methods to collect data in qualitative research. Uh, and why did I use FGD as a intervention to improving the family support? The first is uh, in my I. It's a sorry. Uh, it's because of um, when I use FGD as a instrument to collect the data in my thesis, I can get the I can get the thing that it also can be a intervention to improving because if one of the respondents have a good uh, information it will uh, give a good also good information for another respondent in the group uh, and then but there is a difference between the FGD as the instrument and as the intervention is when the FGD as uh, intervention, the moderator, uh, the moderator give the information in the last in the last uh, part of the discussion. It differs with the instrument. Maybe as a leader or as the moderator, the moderator cannot uh, change his mind of the. Respondent. So, for the, uh, and and also, it's not the first time for me to make a research uh, in use FGDS uh, for 
improving the knowledge or family support. I ever use it for the children at the school to improve their knowledge about healthy snack. And uh, it have a good effect. Uh, I, I mean, there is a high increasing, increasing value of the questionnaire. And I try in this research is to use it uh, for the family. I think that's the answer. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, Miss Rizona, I think you uh, need to explanation about how many times FDG, how long duration FDG, and how many informant uh, in activity of DG in a method. So uh, we can see that the uh, intervention with FDG uh, can improve uh, family support. Okay. Nah, uh, the second question I want to know how to measure family support and what instrument uh, user and how is how you to categorize the uh, family support in this research. Thank you, uh, Dr. Demsa, for the question. I use the questionnaire as an instrument to collect the family support data that the questionnaire has been made by, uh, by the researcher uh, using the reference and also another and modify for the other uh, questionnaire about family support. And the researcher also has validated the questionnaire in the other elementary school in the other district in Palembang City. And about the category, the researcher using the median cutoff point. And uh, median, median, okay. Because uh, the, what we call it, the normality of the data is uh, unnormal. So using uh, distribution data not normal? Yeah, distribution data is not normal. So use the median as the cut of point to determine the category. Okay, what the recommendation from your research study? Of course, the recommendation is for the family. Uh, they should improve their knowledge about the obesity because uh, based on the discussion, there there is uh, parents that don't know about how to prevent the, the obesity uh, exactly and then they should uh, care about their children to help them uh, do the best behave, behavior uh, to prevent the obesity. Mm -hmm. It means the FGG can use to uh, improve family support to the obesity children. Uh, based on the result data, according to me, yes. But uh, honestly, I think uh, there is a limitation in this research because of uh, as uh, in this research, uh, the researchers cannot um, uh, make a exclusion a category. We don't know, but uh, because it's difficult to collect. Uh, the parents in the same time and the same place uh, together. So the, the exclusion criteria is not to uh, conduct it well, I think. But okay. the, uh, you need to explain this and the limitation this reset in the discussion. Okay. 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 Well, Thank you, okay. Miss Pita. Thank, Thank you, Miss Rizona. Thank you. So I have a two question for you, actually. The first one is what is the content of the material discussed in the FGD? So I know it's about the obesity children, but why the, what is the specific topic in your discussion? And then the second question is how you define this is a good family support or this is not a good or bad family support. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for the question, Dr. Pita. Uh, the first question is about Sorry, Sorry, the first question. Dr. Vita? Yes? I, I can't hear about the first question, sorry. Okay, the first question is, what is the content of the material that you discussed okay, in the FGD? 
Yes, in this FGD, the researcher used the like a guideline question uh, as uh, the, during the discussion. The first question is about uh, about the family uh, knowledge about the obesity and then how to prevent uh, how they prevent the obesity and then what are the experience to uh, prevent the obesity? It's the guideline question. And the last question, if I don't mistake, about how to define the good, cat uh, good category and bad. Uh, based on this research is uh, uh, the good category and bad category is based on the cutoff point the research that the median, the, the median value is uh, 8.4. So the the respondent which has uh, under 8.4 is bad category and above that is good category. Oh, I see. So thank you for your presentation and your.